Hey team, welcome to another market update by yours truly, Coach Avalos. So today I think it's going to be an easy market update. As you know, we have a lot of runners going on. There's only one reason they're going up and that's because they've crossed lines and now we have a lot of gaps on the way up. So I'm going to show you a few areas where I think that you might be able to become profitable in the next three days. After that, I think we might see a swing down, but who knows, right? News might pump it up again. Uh, but anyways, here we go. So I've got Apple up on the screen, and you can see easily Apple um, has a really nice gap right in here. Okay, and I could see a run up to about 157, maybe 157.42. Okay, so it's really simple there. If it crosses that line, um, you know, it might be a, a good time to look at the next gap, which would be right in here. And I'm going to lower this top right to that resistance level. So we're looking at about 164. Now, let's go over to SPX, okay? And if you study charts, okay, um, what's going to happen here with SPX and SPY? SPY has the same chart. Look at that. So we have... And I'll uh, draw this out for you. Um, we have uh, a few things to consider here because we have one resistance hit there. We got another resistance hit there. And that's number three. Okay. Now, what usually happens after the third time? If you look at charts, okay, potentially it could break through or it could come up bounce down again then bounce from here and then come up so keep an eye out on spy and spx this is really interesting because this is when we start popping out if you go look at your bear flags bear pennants bull flags and bull pennants go look at your charts and you'll see that this is really going to make a move now for now it has a little bit of room to run up so we could see 410 on spy coming up soon and we could see 4100 with um spx so spx just like uh apple has a nice little gap in here okay if we come across you'll see the next resistance level it's about 4113 maybe 4112 so keep an eye out on that if you're in the bull ring and you watch all our comments we have entries for this tomorrow and i'll post some more in the bull ring but if you're interested i'm gonna leave you guys a link below and you guys can come try it out for free for seven days okay so again appreciate you guys subscribing i love it uh thank you very much because the subscription has gone up almost double in the last 20 days so appreciate you guys a lot uh <clears throat> okay so we have some runners going on here we talked about Apple. Now we have uh, Amazon. So one of the things I've done with Amazon, and I'll show you, but we'll have more in the bull ring if you guys are interested. Um, I've already added, and you can see here, my buy stop. I've already added orders. So when the market opens up and it starts running up, which I think it will, I've already added an order so that it could buy for me and then a quick take profit because you can see my take profit is right above that buy stop okay now I could easily do this and just take the buy stop up here okay if you're not using trading view and you want to learn how to do it again I'm gonna leave you guys a link I have courses I've just added and they're all on sale so in the courses I go through this so this is something you can do real easy just with your mouse you don't have to get on the phone and look for a price and then go back and see the computer and see is this working out uh did it go up right it's a lot of stuff that can get you out of your price target and potentially red so i have this down here and i'm gonna leave it there but that's what i'm doing uh same thing with a few other stocks so let's say for tesla tesla's moving up and one of the things i want to point out with tesla if you look at the rsi and you look at the MACD, this stock is not overbought yet. So I could see Tesla really pushing the market and going up. But if 
I wanted to buy Tesla, okay? Here's what I recommend you guys do, is just come over and just mark off the last known resistance. So let's say it's 196.45, okay? And if I was gonna buy Tesla, and I see this gap here, okay, I'm gonna place an order probably about 197, okay? Because if, if Tesla, right around in there. So if Tesla was to run up, I don't want to buy it in here. I want to buy it on top of that because that's where there's no more sellers and I want that, right? So it makes it easier. And of course you want to add a stop loss. And if you're not doing this and not trying this on paper trade, then you're never going to get better. So my recommendation is sign up on the links below and we'll teach you how to do this. Okay. So very easy for me tomorrow. Now I do expect this to go down. I do expect a pullback because you don't know what's going on in the mornings. Uh, people have meetings with big companies and the news comes on and then folks decide, well, let's just start taking profits. So you can see this run down a little bit, but remember it's going to bounce because everybody's playing these gaps. These gaps is what I call free money. Look, it's a big sandwich for you to eat. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, the only two stocks that I've seen that are having problems now is AMD and NVIDIA. Okay. And I'll show you on both of them. You can see that the RSI is really getting up there on the daily. If you look at NVIDIA almost just about overbought. So if you're playing semiconductors, be careful because those got overbought before everything else. So in the meantime, uh, last but not least, Bitcoin is still struggling, right? My recommendation is stay out of it unless you know how to short it. Uh, but it's going to take a while for this to come back. It's going to fall some more. And eventually folks, you know, they're in love with this. They're going to, they're going to come back in and I think it'll see life again. Okay. So quick video tonight. Just wanted to share with you guys what I think is going to happen again. Look for the gaps, place an order right above that gap price. Give yourself about 50 cents, maybe a dollar, and then set a stop loss and you'll see, try it on paper trade. You'll see what happens again. I'm leaving you guys links below for the new courses and the new watch list. And I'm going to leave you some discounts as well. If you want to join us in the private uh, trading room on Telegram, I'm going to leave you guys some discounts for that as well. So hopefully you guys uh, found value in this and you give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. And I'm hoping and wishing you a green day, guys. Take care.